My name is Anuj Khanna and I am a Quant and DILR faculty in Time Education, Pune Center. And in this video, we would like to discuss the analysis of the second slot of CAT examination, which was there from 2.30 to 5.30. Uh, I am Vishal, I am a verbal faculty working at Time Pune. Today, I uh, will be talking about verbal section. I am going to start with verbal, especially RCs first and then I will shift to VA. Given the difficulty level of 2018, I found verbal section to be difficult than the last year for sure. So obviously the number of attempts are going to reduce compared to the last year. Coming to the language that the RCs had, where, wherein two passages were somewhere between moderate to difficult, whereas three passages were manageable. The first passage was about cities, the developments happening and how important it is with few examples about slums in Dharavi and it talks a bit about recycling as well. The second passage was something that I personally enjoyed but that was one of the moderate topics that the afternoon slot did have which was about how Chinese people are trying to sell lingerie in Egypt and how they are able to adapt to the dialect of the native people and how language plays a very vital and an important role to communicate irrespective of the gender and the societal structure for them. Absolutely. And I agree with Vishal, the language as compared to the past three years, I would say, yes. was more difficult. Certainly. And I like this topic of uh, the Chinese people because it involved a little bit of marketing strategies also. Yes. So definitely it was inclined towards management. Right. Then there was again a shift towards the topic of cities, but yes, it did start with bureaucrats. And then it talks about a dilemma between whether the industry should shift from larger cities to smaller towns. Obviously, there was pros and cons about both of things based on infrastructure, based on employment and based on skill sets. So that was the third passage. Then there was a shift towards the next topic, which was something I found was very difficult, especially the language as well as the questions were not something that the students would have been comfortable. So I think this passage, if they have skipped, would have been a very smart move in the afternoon slot by shifting to VA section by skipping one passage, which was about British colonial and policy. Actually, I skipped that topic because okay. first of all, the language was difficult, right. as you said, absolutely correct. Second, the question was so twisted, right. but there was no direct question involved right. on that. Right. So definitely we can skip it. But at the same time, I think the next topic of Google right. was very interesting. So it did end on a very good note uh, when it comes to the RC section wherein there was a caselet about Google and Saya which is an NGO wherein it does talk about art crime and how uh, the copyrights have been given to Saya and the author criticizes this part saying that the right should be given to the countries, the host countries and not to the NGO who are actually using Google as a platform uh, to post the uh, what I can say uh, the images of few historical places. So that was something that I think was a passage was readable for sure. Absolutely. And anybody who loves Google and like the technology should be familiar with these concepts. I think it was a f f very familiar topic for all the students. Absolutely. But yes, RCS was something that was uh, difficult for sure compared to the last three years of CAT. Yeah. Moving to VA section, uh, uh, what I did was for last 12 to 15 minutes I did go through VA section. The structure remained exactly the same. Parajables, odd man out, summaries. I found parajables, two questions solvable, two were difficult. Summaries I found to be manageable for all the students, all the three questions. And odd man out, maybe a bit of time consuming, but certainly students could solve five to six questions. I think in slot two verbal section, the ideal attempt would be somewhere between 18 to 20 questions with obviously a good accuracy. And I think that is somewhere which will lead you to 19 and plus percentile when it comes to the difficulty level. Uh, coming to the types of questions that the RCs had, I found almost four to five questions which were very tricky. As I've already mentioned, there was one passage that the students should have skipped and shift to VA section. But yes, three to four questions were something that the options were very close enough. There are almost five to six questions which were inference based questions. But at the same time, there were the lines picked from the passage. So I think the, uh, the question was presented in such a way where there is inference as well as a specific question to a particular line. So that was something that was very nice. But the left out questions were certainly very direct and simple which the student should have certainly targeted for sure. And I think Vishal that people who don't like English much or don't, uh, they are not comfortable with this section will definitely find it more problematic. Right. Because if the options are very close, they don't know how exactly they need to eliminate the options. Correct. So that becomes very difficult right. for them. So I think the ideal approach the students uh, must have had uh, would be wherein they have picked the questions which are direct. 
Absolutely. And kept the inference questions somewhere later. That would have been the ideal approach for the Absolutely. questions for sure. That's true. And now we are going to shift to uh, DNR section and coin section. Now moving on to data interpretation and logical reasoning section. The biggest surprise for me is it was simpler as compared to CAT 2017 and 18. So I'm pretty sure it was a very big relief for all the CAT aspirants. They must be very happy in this particular section. When we were looking at the case lists, when we were looking at the data, another surprise was there were some questions where data was directly given. I hope you will agree with Yeah, that. so I think last year there were more logic based questions, but this year it was more of DI calculation based questions. So that Absolutely. was one change that we certainly Absolutely, and the more happy thing was we can use a calculator now. Yes, last year. that was something that was an advantage for the students Absolutely. where they would really use it. When I have provided a calculator, we should use it. But when logic based data interpretation is there, people find it very difficult because now you have to think about the case state, then get the answer. But here, the conditions were also given in a very fewer lines, unlike last year where the conditions were elaborated. So I think that was one of the things which was very easy. Second thing which I would like to say is, uh, you must have watched our another video where we are discussing about slot 1, where surprisingly there was no question on Venn diagram. But in the second slot, there was one question on no Venn diagram. Yes. Luckily, our student will be very happy because the similar variety we have taught in the logical reasoning 5th and 6th handout. So they can connect to that Venn diagram very easily. They have practiced enough, even though the questions were not having any options, they were easily able to solve. So, so we can certainly say that choosing the sets was very crucial and important for the students uh, to solve the questions in a much better way. Absolutely, Vishal. I remember I chose a set where the questions and the options were helping me a lot. So it was like 5 to 6 minutes I was able to tackle that set. Right. But, but then I think if I have taken that I must have solved the question and then taken more time. So I think the approach is also equally absolutely. important when it comes so to So approach was very important. Choosing the right set was very important. If I am wasting 12 to 15 minutes in one set, that means I am going to get nervous because in the remaining time I won't be able to solve the other questions. So I would say this time as compared to the last time, solving 4 to 5 set uh, was very good. So the number of attempts for DIL would have been uh, what, what slightly been? more than last year. Last year 3 to 4 case rates would be a very good attempt. This year 4 to 5 case rates. So we are increasing to a 3 question in the terms of attempts. And the case rates were so simple that a student could have solved them in 10 to 15 minutes. And again. There are two to three case rates which are exactly similar to what we are teaching in the class. So our class students will get benefit out of that. So I hope the students have actually you know, gone through these sets and absolutely they have elaborated a bit about how to approach it. So that would be something that would be an add-on for the preparation. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now moving on to the third section that is quantitative aptitude. Now moving on to the third section that is quantitative aptitude. For me, uh, Vishal sir, the biggest surprise was there was no question on permutation, combination and probability in the second slot. Uh, major number of questions were from the topics of arithmetic, that is time and work, time speed distance, uh, simple and compound interest, profit and loss. So I'm pretty sure our non-engineering students will be very happy because I think uh, they love profit and loss, simple and compound interest more than the other topics. And I think uh, the number of questions were more for arithmetic, so obviously these questions were doable. And uh, I think this is something that the uh, non-engineers uh, would have been happy about where they would solve good number of questions for sure under this topic. Uh, how about uh, geometry and uh, algebra some other questions? See, the first thing was around 6 to 7 questions were from geometry but not a single question had any kind of diagram. So first thing is you have to make a correct diagram. If you are unable to make the correct diagram, you will never get the correct answer. So, so, so we can say that the, uh, the a bit of time consuming questions Absolutely. when it comes to geometry. A bit of time consuming. And the more important thing in geometry is if you remember the formulae, fundamentals and the theorem, then only you can solve the question. So anybody who has skipped the basics will not be able to solve these questions. But again, there was not many questions from trigonometry or coordinate geometry in the second. Which is in a way a relief for the students, I'm sure. Absolutely. And that is what we told the student in the class, that if you follow this structure, you will be able to tackle these questions. So I hope we were guiding them correctly. Coming on to the third thing, that was numbers. Very, very few questions, hardly two to three questions were from numbers. And I would consider them doable. Again, they were formula based and direct question. 
and most importantly, unlike CAT 2018, the language was designed in a simple, simpler way. So understanding the question will not be a bad task. So it was much easier compared to the last year. Absolutely. I would consider it to be easier than CAT 2018, but slightly difficult than CAT 2017. CAT 2017, the questions were more direct with a smaller options and a simpler option. This time, the options were asking what's the closest value. Mm -hmm. So if you have to find the closest value, again, you need to use a calculator. So how about, uh, there are a few questions of non mcq questions as well. So how was those questions? Absolutely. Not very difficult, I would say. They were doable. Some of them, pretty difficult. But again, non mcq has no negative. Right. So, so people have a mindset that they would like to attempt. So they can risk. They can questions. risk it. But ultimately, I you know what sir, they are actually investing time in that. I would not suggest that. If you are not familiar with the question, just because it is non-negative, don't waste your time. You have other questions to tackle. So what, what would be the ideal attempt that the student should have had for con section? In quantitative aptitude, including all the topics, I would suggest that a student should have an attempt of very close to 20 to 25 question with 80 to 90 percent accuracy would have done wonders for them. But so the accuracy will play a role for Absolutely, you. absolutely. The surprise this year was algebra. A little bit more difficult as compared to last year. Some questions were tricky. If you can use the options or the pure fundamental, you will be able to get the answer. So it was overall uh, simpler as compared to CAT 2018, but one notch difficult as compared to 2017. Okay. So, so overall, overall, we can say that the difficulty level didn't change much in both the slots as well yes. uh, compared to slot one and slot two. Maybe a bit of change here and there in all the three sections. I think verbal remains almost on the same level where the number of items same. were 20 to 22. DNR as sir already has mentioned, I think 15 to 70 would be a decent Absolutely. attempt. Above 18 will be a With 45 sets yes. with a bit of accuracy of 80 to 90. Absolutely. And moving to cons, uh, as sir um, has already mentioned, 20, 20, 20 to 22. That would be a good attempt. But I would like to say one more thing, that in quantitative aptitude, there were around 12 to 13 questions which were almost on the same pattern or the concept that we are teaching in the class and from our handouts or study material. So I would definitely like to say that our student, time education student, has an edge over others in that particular. So they, they should have targeted these questions for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. And looking at these questions and looking at the past three to four years, I would like to say that the CAT is going almost on a linear platform. Just a bit of a fluctuation, not much. Bit of fluctuation. I mean there's no googly, there's no surprise as such, which is coming to us. And I am pretty sure that our student would like to suggest other students to join, uh, to join time education as soon as possible. So please join us for CAT 2020. We have already started the batches. If you have any kind of doubt, get in touch with our faculty members and our counselors. Thank you everyone.